I'm Margaret Lynn Duggar, the Executive Director of the Florida Council on Aging. The Florida Council on Aging is a statewide membership organization celebrating its 60th anniversary this year. So even in 1955, a group of people who were interested in aging was a unique thing in Florida, but you see where we've come from that. We're a membership organization for corporations, individuals, university folks, service providers, anyone who has an interest in aging. Well, hopefully, each of us is aging and will age for a long time. So, number one, it should be a personal interest. But secondarily, Florida is the state with the highest population percentage of, of older adults in our population. It's over 4 million people now. So, we have a significant part of our population that is in that, character, in that characterization. And also, they have much to contribute in terms of volunteerism, employment, uh, consumer issues. They're, Many of them have considerable wealth to make purchases, homes, appliances, cars, children's toys and clothing, um, all, a golf, all kind of entertainment. So they're a real source of revenue for our state and our businesses. Aging as a area of study is relatively new in this country, only several decades old. And uh, while we have many businesses and, and corporations who are doing a fairly good job and working hard at it, I'm not sure we have an example of anyone who is really doing it to their max. Um, everybody's continuing to learn. But interesting um, hospital like Lee Memorial Health System had received, in Fort Myers had received uh, an award, national award from AARP. And it's particularly significant for them because it's difficult to integrate older workers into a hospital setting where you have people who have to lift, have to be on their feet for long shifts, all of that kind of thing. But they had found ways to adapt and accommodate that. Publix is definitely doing a good job with their employment. But there are a lot of others who, Florida Power and Light's been one of our models for a long time with their interest in the consumer. Um, Walgreens is a partner we're working with and they have strong interests as I'm sure other uh, drug chains do as well. And of course the health plans are very interested like Florida Blue, WellCare and others. If a company wanted to become very expert or very accomplished in hiring older adults, things that they should consider include the attitudes of the people who work there and recognizing that in some cases older adults are much more productive. Flexibility in work hours and times is good because uh, people who are retired and taking another job like to travel some or do educational pursuits. An understanding that all of us are different. Some of us have the ability to stand all day at McDonald's and, and help others don't. That kind of sensitivity and a willingness to possibly accommodate that is another kind of issue.